Hello everyone, welcome back again. My name is Jesse and in this wonderful and exciting tutorial, we try to see how to implement some functions, right? So we try to see how to implement a map function. So map is one of the three pillars of functional programming. So we have map, reduce, and then filter. So we try to see how to write our own map. In the next tutorial, we see how to work with zip and then the rest. So let's see the concept behind map. So supposing I have a list, right? You can see the concept of map is that you are trying to pick a particular function and then as a uh, apply that function to a list right at the same time so let's say i have my list and then this list has some numbers like say three five eight and let's say 24 right i want to apply a particular function to this right so how do i do that so let's say let me write the function i want to apply i want to apply this function to depth i want to apply this simple function s right which takes in one argument and then returns the square of that particular value which is going to be by two right it's a simple function so in case i want to apply this function to a single number so let's apply to a single number you just go with this so square and then let's say i want to apply to three right? so this works give us nine the square root of three the square of three is nine right perfect now how do you apply this function to this list here at the same time so one of the simplest way is to use map so let's see the first method this is going to be method number one right using for so using for loops so you're going to look through the entire list and apply that particular function so in that case it's going to be something like this so for i in my list right then I'm going to loop through it. So I'm going to print. So let's say the square. So you see what is done. Square of that particular number. Right? Which is going to be equal to the answer. So dot format. I'm going to pass in my number and then the function. So the function is square, then my number. So this is one of the simplest way, right, of applying the function so we are just squaring this particular number which is this right and then we are closing it so if i print it out so now we have applied that single function to all the list right so to three we apply the square function to three to five to eight to twelve so this is the first method using for loops right so how do you make it simple right so one way of doing is after doing it can also create a a list right and create an array or a list somewhere and then put these values inside right so in that case it's going to be something like this so how do you do it at the same time so let's say my result is going to be an empty list then whatever i'm doing i'm going to append it to it so i'm going to append to that result right so result dot append the square of that particular number right so this is one of the ways of doing that so now if i go back and i return the result i get all of them well so this is the concept of map right so you are trying to apply a function to an iterable or a list right so it's the idea is that for for the map to work it must have this option so a function right and then an iterable right something that you can iterate over right that is the basic understanding behind it which is very useful in case you are trying to do maybe distributed stuff or parallel stuff right okay that is the basic understanding so it makes your work easy this is using a for loop now let's see how to use inbuilt python function so this is going to be method two so we are using inbuilt map so to get all the inbuilt functions in python you can just go with this option so this is method two i want to get all the inbuilt functions so import inbuilt or built in right and it's to get all the inbuilt functions in python so built in right then just go with my dir built in so this is how to get every inbuilt function in python right so the ones that are part of it because a map is an inbuilt function if i scroll down you can see that we have my map here so there is map there is map here right so map is an inbuilt function right so you don't need to import it it's already part of it right so that is how to get all the inbuilt functions in python there's power here 
and the rest okay hope you can see it so let's go back down and let's write some code so it's the simplest method for getting it is this just go with this option so this method two two with map it's just going to be my map and then i'm going to pass in my function then i'm going to pass in my list which is my item if i run it, it's going to give us a map generator object and the reason it's given us this option is that it makes it easy to space to save time and then memory right so if i go back to the same thing i have let's time it let you see how fast it is now this is about 1.19 microseconds right very very fast now let's to get the actual value to get actual values right the simplest way is just go with this so list right and then map let's put in here i'm going to convert the entire stuff into from a generator to a list if i go with this we have those values here. this is the same values we had here right very nice so the concept of map is that we are trying to apply the same function to it so under the hood or behind the hood you can see that what it's doing is that it's just looping through that our list and applying that our function to it right so having understood that function let's see how to do that right so this is going to be our own implementation so implement of map so we implementing map in our own way so let's see how to implement this we have understood that it's just iterating through a list and then passing a function around it so let's create my map so my map right and it's going to take a function and then an iterable so this let's call it as sequence so we are using asterisk sequence to make it iterable so that it can accept any argument so the star here means that it can accept any argument right then i'm going to move through it with this option so there are several ways you can do that so the simplest way just go with this so as we saw above right as we saw above before we go with using as we saw here apologies for how my mouse is moving as you saw this right we can actually use the same idea to create my, my map because you have seen that this is how it is working behind the scene using the follow behind the scene so we can actually use the same thing to implement it so let's try that first one first and then you know, this one is going to be this option so def let's go just my map right it's going to take in the function and then a sequence or a list right as you saw then i can just go to the same thing so let's get all the result so the result is going to be the result right then i'm going to look through so for i in the sequence that we have so you can say if okay right then i'm just going to apply that particular result append to that result the function so function and then the i so i'm passing it there so this is a simple function to work and then at the end you're going to return that particular result so this is exactly the same thing we did above right and it's also going to work so let's go back and try it so i'll just apply it to my map which is going to take the square function and then my list if i go with this it's going to retain our result for us right let's see how fast this our computation was so i'm just going to go back again and just use time it so time it and because it's working with a list and in a for loop let's see the time Right, so this is about 6.66 microseconds, which is, if you look at this, this was 1, this was the default inbuilt function, was 1.19, which is very fast, but this is also 6.66 microseconds, right? This is using the for loop, right? Perfect. Now, let's make it in a different way. So, instead of going with this, this is just a normal implementation. You can see that my mouse is moving, forgive me. Uh, you can see that... This one works faster and give us this option right but how do we implement the same thing using a a generator right so we can use a generator for this and it's also going to work so let's try that one out so we can just go back again so let's go back here so we have seen how it works right now let's see how to make it more nice right so this is just nice but it's using a for loop and a, a right 
an append, right? So one of the ways that first of all, in case you're writing any code, you first implement it first, then you optimize. So implement it in the simplest format, right? Then you optimize. So let's optimize it. So optimize it, optimize using a generator. So first you implement simply with a simple approach. That is how you code, right? Most of the time. So let's optimize using generator. So in that case, it's going to be the same thing. So def my map. Right, and I'm just going to do it funk, then the sequence. Right, and then for me to instead of me looping through, I'm just going to for i in that sequence. I'm just going to yield. Yield is a generator concept that allows you to be able to yield per the actual option. Then I'm just going to go back again with my funk and then i. So we are not using return, we are using yield, right? So perfect. And now let's run this particular function be running this because you have optimized it so let's run it again so my map let's call it map map two so that doesn't confuse us with the first one map two i pass in my left square and then my list so if i go with this option and i run it it's going to give us a generator object and then in case i want to get the actual values from this to get the actual values to so get actual values so that is going to be this option this my list as so we did above and i pass in this and we're going to get our result so it failed because we forgot to close it we got this answer right the same thing we did above right the same thing we did here that we got our result with the map here right it's the same thing we are doing here right as you can see we can also actually check it out check for the time so this is going to be this option and let's see let's compare it so this is going to be my time it so time it then I'll pass in here. So if pass in here because you are using the yield, right? You are going to see a different result. And this is 7.46. The reason given us 7.46 is that we are converting it into a list. But if I go without the list option, if I go without this, if I take off this one, it's going to be more faster. So if I go back. This is 1.31 microsecond, which is far faster than the one we had above here, right? So that is a, the idea behind generators, which is very useful in case you want to optimize your code for space and for speed, right? For memory, especially if you are doing some of these map computation, very nice. So you have seen how to implement your own map function in Python. You have understood the concept of map how it works behind the scene that is just applying a function to an iteration or an iterable and then you have seen how to use the inbuilt one you've seen how to convert it back you have implemented our own map function right very nice with this option here very good so we have the function and you have the sequence you're applying we can even make this one better instead of going with this append we made it better by using the yield as you can see which converted into a generator and then we, we call the list option on it to make it faster but we can also make it more better so let's make this one better by using this option here right so we are using the same thing is going to be map three this is another alternative so this is going to be method three the three so this time we are using we are using the three right our own option so the same thing we are having right and then let's call it as map three we're going to go through it so we can look through the entire stuff in this option we can just go with this so for i in zip let's use zip right because this here this one coming is coming as a variable number of arguments so you can accept several arguments then i'm going to unzip it right so sequence And from here, I can now use the yield. So, yep. Yeah. Then I can now just go with the yield. Right, we are optimizing it. Then the function that we have, then you're going to apply that particular function to that sequence, right? So that's I that we have. That's the big understanding behind what you are doing. So you're applying it to this I. So the reason we are just using the same asterisk that we are unzipping it so that it can accept multiple arguments. So let's run it. And now let's try my map three to pass in my square root so square and then my list i pass in this 
let's see the result it's going to retain the generator and now we can just check for how fast this one is i'm sure because we are using zip it's not going to be very fast but it is very useful because with the asterisk here and the zip if it's having several stuff it can work better than the one we did above okay so let's go back again and then let's implement it so let's go with this list and i'll pass in this right, but let's check the time first before we move on before we move on so this is going to be the time it so to see how fast this one is so time it and this let's check it out to see how fast this one is and you see that it's taking some time so the reason it's taking some time here is because we are using a, a zip right and it's 1.34 seconds which is almost like this one right 1.31 microsecond uh, yeah yeah microseconds right which is almost the same like almost the same stuff there this is tracing micro yeah very nice right almost the same so just four because even though we are using zip but this is more performant because with the asterisk can as put in several stuff and it's going to work now let's check and convert it from a generator to the actual values so now i'm going to pass it there and now you so see we have our result today right very nice so that is how to implement your own map function so we have seen three different ways we can implement our function you have seen how to use we have understood how it works by looping through it the simplest format and applying the function you have seen how to use an inbuilt function you have seen how to use a generator option to generate the same thing right so thank you for watching this tutorial and see you in the next session stay blessed bye and check the links below for some interesting materials to help you master machine learning and then python bye